Are you really sick? You may be treating a disease you don't actually have. A doctor tells us how that could be. Now, if you were being treated for a condition like maybe a low thyroid, Dr. Steven Wander says there's a 97% chance they're, you're actually being treated for something you don't have. The doctor is here with me to kind of explain what that really means. Doctor, thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you for having me. Uh, I know we're, I kind of mentioned low thyroid as one of those possible uh, conditions, and I know there's probably a lot of women that deal with that. Kind of uh, explain how we're, we're getting into this percentage with something like that. Well, I first got into with thyroid due to my grandmother. I went out to lunch with my grandparents, and the first thing she did is she laid out 13 pills. And I was like, bub, why all the pills? Oh. And she said, well, baby, the first one, that's for my thyroid. And the second one, that's for my sugar. And the third one, that's for my pressure. And the fourth one, that's for the side effects are number one and the fifth ones for side effects are number two and so on and so on oh. and she went down the line of having her thyroid remove and then basically dying a couple weeks later a couple oh. months later and so women are suffering because level thyroxine and synthroid is the number one prescribed medication in America at 23 million a clip and it's it's prescribed for low thyroid issues and all the research says that most women diagnosed with low thyroid issues don't have a low thyroid issue. They have immune disease, which is actually attacking their thyroid. Ah, interesting. So I, I love that we're kind of uh, shining some light on this. So when people are taking the 13 pills or whatever the case may be, and they're still seeing these symptoms get worse, why is that? Well, they're being treated for low thyroid issue. And if they're not tested properly, most women who are diagnosed with low thyroid are only tested for TSH okay. or some tested for maybe T3 and T4, and that is not even close to a full thyroid panel. And so they get tested for TSH, and then the natural standard of care right now is just to treat that with that level of thyroxine or synthroid. And if that's not the issue, how in the world are they going to get better if they have the wrong diagnosis? That makes complete sense to me. So yes. let's let's talk about some of the symptoms that somebody could be uh, experiencing. Yeah, so uh, the inability to lose weight despite good diet and exercise, so that's okay. why I have a pound of fat here. Um, they, when they brush their hair, they're losing their hair. Uh, extreme fatigue all day long. They can't sleep, can't stay asleep, can't fall asleep, and even if they do get to sleep, when they wake up, they're still tired. That's called wired and tired. Brain fog is a huge one. That's why I have this boomerang. I have many patients who say they have so much brain fog that they download a software program called Boomerang, which allows them to write an email in the morning and then have it programmed to be sent out to their boss in the afternoon so the boss thinks they're working. Moodiness, tired, they're on Red Bull. So any Anyone who's having these symptoms and or has actually been diagnosed with a low thyroid condition really needs to get properly tested to see if they actually have an autoimmune disease which is attacking the thyroid. So what is it, maybe, is there maybe a different approach to this versus what we've been doing this whole yeah, time? Well, you need to find out customized information on you specifically right. as the patient as to why you're having these symptoms. For sure, you're not having these symptoms because you have not enough level thyroxine or synthroid in your body. You need to do specialized testing. There's stool testing, there's saliva testing, there's food intolerance testing, there's genetic testing. And what women need to do is get this testing done, find a doctor who will do this, so you can have a customized program built from the ground up individually for you based on that because right now for that autoimmune disease that attacks the thyroid there is no drug and so even patients who are actually diagnosed properly with this uh, yeah. diagnosis their their treatment plan is levothyroxine or synthroid well, I, I think that, uh, one, listing off all of those symptoms and then letting the patient know that you have a voice if you want more testing or you want to see what's really going on. Because like we were talking about, those uh, medications aren't really doing anything. And, and what are some of the other the side effects uh, that come along with being misdiagnosed, really? Well, you know, as time goes by, when you have this autoimmune disease, which is basically eating your thyroid day by day, week by week, month by month, it's going to get worse. One of the worst complications from having that is actually a higher uh, incidence for thyroid cancer, or women will get a goiter and then they'll get part or entire thyroid removed. And so then that becomes a whole nother issue. And so the main thing that needs to be stressed is you need to have the proper diagnosis. If you don't have the proper diagnosis, how are you going to have the right treatment plan? It's impossible. Well, I'm going to uh, t tell them how they can get their hand uh, on your book, which of course is going to help them through this a lot. And of course, we've given them a lot of education today. Doctor, thank you so much for coming in and talking about this. Thank you for having me. Such an important subject. To learn more about Dr. Wander and his book, It's Not You, It's Your Thyroid, please log on to drwander.com or call 301-770-5395.